Alright my lovers, it's 2023 and while the year is busy killing off many possible reboots, Friends, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, The Pogues, apparently now the Royal Mile, there is one reboot that can't be killed off. Oh, and now the guy from Little Big's Eurovision video. Man, I am done with this shit. Oh, you guys. It has been a long 90 odd years, and this is the episode that finally brings the park right up into the modern day for this year. Wait, unless you're watching this after 2023, in which case, this is the episode that brought it right up to 2023. <laughs> but either way, it's the penultimate episode of the series. It's 2023, and we get to see one final friend return. Here he is. Look who's back. It's Professor Plop Pop Pop. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and this is going to be his area at the back here. I've always said that. These are his rides. Uh, that's no secret. That's always been the case for every um, iteration of Plumple Pop Land that I've done in here. We're going to come all the way down here, include these buildings. We're going to come down to uh, the dance hall, but not include the dance hall. It's going to stop there. It's not going to include the swinging inverter, but it is going to come along this way for the railway station. I need to do something with this bridge, and then we're going to do something with his coaster right here. So, if you are new here, by the way, welcome aboard. Thanks for coming along, but this is probably all a little bit alien to you. So, let's give you this real quick backstory of Plumple Pop and how he came to be. So, he is a TV character that uh, I used in a park. Back then, in the first iteration of his his whole universe, he was just a name. That character has then evolved over a number of series and it came to be the most sophisticated in the last series I did, which was Cadenham Castle. Now, you guys created his persona, his friends, his logo, his universe, and then this is just a continuation of the canon. And because we are a series that's baked in some kind of realism and some kind of real world something or other, there's lots of boring legal stuff that comes with this. And this is why I'm going to come over to the graveyard and show you, because, well, we're baked in reality, aren't we, right? So we're dealing with a licensed IP that's got a lot of existing stuff already in place. You know, there's a brand, there's imagery, there's licenses. It's a whole entire universe. We can't just go ham with theming like we do when we set out to do a Western area, adventure area, pirate area, you know, all that sort of stuff. We have got zero creative license of anything that is designed. We've got strict rules to stick to. We can configure it how we want, but these are the strict rules. So, for example, this is his town. There's a few tweaks we can make to these buildings, but they ultimately have to live in this format. They don't have to stay the same shape, but they have to live in this format. So what I've got to do in my challenge is to create, or is to put all of this stuff into, or not all of it, but as much of this stuff into this area and bring Plumple Pop to life in accordance to the copyrighted IP that we have licensed. What a boring episode. Let's get on with it.
<laughs> well, this is definitely an episode that you history preservation nerds are going to absolutely hate hate especially if you're someone that wanted to preserve as much of the original park as humanly possible because this retheme is just uh, and it's a real shame that the uh, cafe in the middle had to go i mean it it was always my plan to have the ballroom being the only thing that lasted the entire series and the cafe had to fall at the last hurdle it's a shame i did have plans to do it a little bit sooner but it's all right it is where it is, and it's Plumple Pop that's back, and I'm so glad I get to go through another episode of struggling to say Plumple Pop. <laughs> we'll start down here with the tour then. So this is the split level playground that I've always wanted. Of course, it's not done. It needs a lot of touching up, but this is the kind of vibe that I'm going for. You know, this idea of putting in the waterfall split level grass just to hide the fact that there's the hill there because you wouldn't use foliage and stuff going on in here. I have, of course, brought this over from... Uh, Cadnam Castle as you saw but I've just configured it in a different way and remember to the very first part of this episode when I said that we're dealing with an IP that already has image brand and license and we just have to configure what we've got in a different way this is why you're seeing it and looking very similar to Cadnam Castle because that's that's the license that's how you use it so of course you've got all of the poly stuff uh, going through here and you've got all of his friends and remember as well that it has to be recognizable to the TV show so yeah that's that's just what you've got to do uh, and then likewise with the train station the train station would look like this in the tv show so therefore you'd need to make it recognizable uh, when you actually put it into a theme park of course this isn't done either it's touching up and stuff that he's doing but it is the same it is the same railway station just configured slightly differently and modernized of course from the 1930s railway station that we had uh, that we had here originally then you'll notice that the bridge has gone so the idea being that this is going to be accessed by kids and push chairs and possibly wheelchairs and all of the other facets of uh, family uh, family life and you don't want them to have to traverse over a bridge or for our wheelchair friends to have to come all the way around here to come back around i mean in the late 90s early 2000s that would have been acceptable that would have been an acceptable way of accessing uh, the area but not in 2023 so we've got rid of the bridge and we've put in a um a roadway here of course i just need to do the touching up and stuff of the uh, of the area now in the main uh, area here you'll notice that there are some changes, but there's not a lot of changes. So the merry-go-round had to move over slightly because of the building re-theme and transition and stuff. So the merry-go-round had to move over slightly, but all of the rest of the rides are sitting prior to place. Some colour changes, not some colour changes, but ultimately the biggest change is taking out all of the um, the real-life flower beds and replacing them with the <laughs> low-poly town stuff. So again, this feels like an absolute downgrade, right? Um, and that's the kind of the whole point. It's because we've sold out to the IP, we're wanting to to sell uh, theme park tickets based on a kids tv program so we now need to make it look like that tv that tv universe so that's what we're going for here um, i've swapped out some of the flower beds for the fake grass and then i swapped out the curbing and stuff for the yellow what i have done here though and I've actually put a bit more detail into that uh, into that curbing and, and pathing and stuff because this kind of just sat there unloved and I kind of needed to integrate it a little bit better into the uh, uh, into the area here so yeah that's that's what I've done I did toy with the idea of swapping out the fences for the other um, the uh, panel fences uh, but actually this works this works fine like I kind of figured that the fencing wouldn't be a plump or pop copyright uh, thing you the colors and stuff would be so that's what we're going for here and remembering as well that rethemes are just redressing what's already there right it's not about rebuilds it's not about tearing stuff apart and, and starting again it is just about um uh, about redressing stuff that you already have like for example the junior coaster and i mean i loved the station for this originally but it wasn't plumple pop's house this is plumple pop's house now you'll probably notice a few subtle differences between this house and the cadnam castle house if you remember back to the cadnam castle episode i did say that i didn't really know what plump plump's uh, house would actually look like i've i've been doing some thinking and a bit of designing and yeah this is looking pretty much as plump's original house did i've just made a few subtle changes like the color stuff is changing there's a few more details like the runners all, all along the um the roof edge the eve as it's called uh, and then i've put a porch on here uh, and then of course i put runners all along the um all along the queue line walls and i swapped out some of the windows as well so i swapped them out for these wood windows because it just felt 
it's, this just feels so much more natural as, as a house. And I mean, is it still perfect? No, there's still so much that I could do, but it's a refinement of what we of what we already had. So it's not breaking the rules of uh, redesigning something. This is still Plumple Pop's house. This is just a, a Plumple Pop 2.0, uh, if you will. And of course, we've got a color change to the Plumple Pop colors, coaster colors. That's the blue and the orange from Cadenham Castle. So it's now recognizable. Did they need to be blue and orange? No, absolutely not. But it it is. I do need to change the colour of the train though. Uh, that's definitely not been done yet. So, <laughs> and inside here, <laughs> it's still the graveyard of <laughs> the previous. Um, uh, oh, actually, it's not. Well, it kind of is. The graveyard of the previous, uh, the previous iteration of the um, uh, <laughs> of the coaster, and also the stuff from Plumple Pop that I've copied across. <laughs> it's an absolute mess, guys. This whole idea of dragging stuff in from Cadenham Castle and then editing it to fit Royal Mile has been an absolute nightmare. This has taken so long. It's taken way longer for me to edit the stuff into the park than it would do if I just started it from the beginning all over again. It's kind of half the joy of the uh, <laughs> of the build, right? <laughs> there he is, pop, pop, pop. Hello, mate. <laughs> and then the last real bit to show you is the is the town square that's coming together. So. I did want to leave the original one in here, so this is Cadenham Castles, just so you can see that, yes, I have reconfigured and we don't have strict r rules and laws around the size of the buildings, so you, you don't have to have the buildings the same size, they just have to be the same design. So, uh, as you can see here, it's all the same design, and I've taken the creative liberty to put the hotel on the end of the strip, that kind of feels like that would be the case, Cadenham Castle wouldn't have had the space to put the hotel at the end of um, at the end of the strip because of the way that the um, tilt -a whirl was and stuff so this works this works quite nicely there's this new building in here it needs um, needs a bit of love it's just a, an idea of in here but what I did do is I've, I've kept the awning so this awning is from the original uh, is from the original building now you'll think you'll be su not surprised but you'll <laughs> what am I trying to say um, you won't be surprised to see that this is a different footprint to how it was before and that kind of happens with rethemes because that's just how it that's just the nature of it so think of like uh, Alton Towers when they went from Toyland Tours to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory to the dungeons it's still ultimately the same building it's just a different footprint. So like the dungeons is a different footprint to um, uh, to Charlie, and Charlie was a slightly different footprint to Toyland Tours, but it is ultimately the same building. We've already done it in this, in this series with the Lido building. That's already taken on three different forms, so this is exactly that same principle. It doesn't have to be on identical, um, it, but it wouldn't necessarily be a demolish and, and rebuild. But anyway, this is the uh, this is the outside town stuff. So I've I've retained all of this from Cadenham Castle. Um, I just need to put up the the extra bits and whatever. I need to tidy up this bit, and then of course I have then brought in the other side of the town uh, into this side, and then here is the hotel. And then this building here was the building that was on the edge of the um, of, of the original town strip. So this is going to be uh, the inside here is going to be restaurant. So it's going to be like uh, ice cream and that sort of stuff. And then of course on the outside, I have just started the idea of putting in the uh, patios for the um, uh, picnic benches and all that sort of stuff, and then putting in all the fake grass, getting it ready. And then I am going to take the opportunity to swap out the pa uh, the pipe paving from the stone to the modern brick so that it just feels like it's a new area from from like us finishing it onwards so there it is that's how it's looking so far grotesque ugly and ugh and i'm here for it because it's plumper pop plumper pop <laughs> see you in a minute
Oh, you guys, Cadenham Castle's plumper pop area has now got a sister. It's here at the Royal Mile, and it is similar in many ways, but it's fundamentally different. And yeah, it's recognisable from the TV show, but it's customised for the park. And do you know what? Didn't turn out badly, did it? I'm all right with it, especially as halfway through I did have a moment of, oh, what have you done? <laughs> but no, I'm quite chuffed with how this is how this has turned out, and uh, I'm half glad actually that I designed this area to be this area in 1930. So the park has actually grown up around the thought process of this, and I think I'm not entirely sure, but I think this might be my favourite version of this because it's more compact. It feels a little bit more like the town would be. I'm so glad I didn't shoehorn the factory in because that would have just been too much. I think this is just 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 perfect, and of course Spike, Mwah! Chef's kiss. Your sign is back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So there's the first entrance. Here is the second entrance across the railway. There we go. And then this is, of course, the bottom part of the area. So this is the transition area. So I was going to change it out for the herringbone brick that I've used, which keeps it nice and tidy, but actually it needed to retain its grey stone. So that's what I've done. It's got its grey stone and then it transitions into the plop pop area, starting with the playground. There it is. <sighs> Yes, now when you saw this last, it wasn't quite finished, uh, but now of course all of the waterfall effects, and effects, sorry, the waterfall um, planters and whatever are now done. It's got its clutter, it's got its sciency stuff, it's got the flowers and the gummy balls and everything. And yes, it's now just a fun playground. And I just love, I love how this uses the hill and hides the hill at the same time. Like, it's respectful to the topography that was here before, but of course it's now actually usable as the topography. So yes, this feels exactly what the park would have done. Uh, in this uh, in this respect and then of course you've got the train station so there's the train station uh, with his friends outside the front here I've realized in Cadenham Castle I don't think I included her feet uh, because she's wearing a dress right so I think I just put her straight on the ground might need to go back into Cadenham Castle and change that at uh, some point and then you've got more clutter along the side here and then the pathway that leads up to the uh, Plumple Pop coaster which now has a new name and non-environmentally friendly smoke. It's called Roly Coasty, Professor Plumple Pop's Roly Coasty. Do you remember the episode that I put this in was called Roly Coasty? Foreshadowing. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> so the actual coaster itself, nothing much has changed. It's got some effects that kick off now, so it's got a little bit of steam and it's got um, uh, some fire effects and whatever. And then, of course, it's just tidied up. So I've cluttered it out with the Plumper Pop stuff just to give it Plumper Pop. But that's it. That's all it needs to be. It doesn't need to be any uh, any more than that. Everything was just as, just as uh, perfect already. And then the station itself, again, just a few tweaks. Just to tidy some stuff up, but ultimately I was happy with how it was in the in the previous update. It just needed uh, its plumple plumpalizing. That's a new word. And then inside here, the station's now uh, the station now is tidy and it's as I want it to be. So you'll spot that there is a building that hasn't changed. The reason for that, I wanted to keep some heritage going. So I wanted to keep this building as it was. I didn't want to tear everything down in this in this area. So there you go. So what I have done though is I've just changed some of the colours. Whoa, this is going to be so difficult because I'm so close to the station. Um, so I've changed some of the colours. There you go. So you've now got blue, uh, yellow and pink and then the white would work instead so uh, it's consistent with the plumper pop colors uh, but it's still the old uh, it's still the old building and i think it fits in perfectly and then of course we've got all of the plumple stuff uh, plumple stuff around here um this is was always in um but it's just like it's had its tidy up and the herringbone brick path just tidies everything it just makes it look so clean and so consistent so i am proper proper here for it the market stall of course is there that was always in but it now has context and it now actually makes sense the ferris wheel has just had its uh, clutter and stuff adding but this bit in the middle this is where the biggest changes have happened because of course we've got uh, the old building that was no longer here we've used the footprint of the old building and it's now a new building and this is exactly as the town is if you think back to what we were saying about licensing the ip the town has to look the same but you can configure it how you like uh, so you do have some kind of creative license especially when you are creating something brand new uh, for the park so there you go this is how the city block looks oh, from here and this is how it looks from uh from this side this this hotel just finishes off this row like yes and then this is how it's looking from this side and then of course we've got the uh we've got the cosmic cow 
uh, ice cream shop. So inside here, uh, you would have seen me doing this inside. Uh, I actually decided to retain the original design of um, the shop that was there before, but just move it across to this to this unit instead. So the ceiling came across, the wall decoration came across, the colours kind of came across. I just made it more uh, cosmic cowie, which is the pink and blue, right? Um, and then, of course, that's actually the, the plumple colours. Uh, and then the waving cosmic cow in the window. And then over this way, you've got the hotel that lives on the top there. There you go. Uh, we're going to go inside here and see that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, that it's a diner now. There you go. It is a diner. So I'm loving how this turned out. Nice and simple, but elegant. Love it. Yes. Love it, love it, love it. And then on the outside here, of course, this is all of the town elements that you've already seen. Um, this building is actually probably new to, to everything because I needed something to, to put in the middle, right? But outside here is all of the usual clutter that we have done. And then we come in to the shop. <gasps> Ta-da. She's quite scary, you know. <laughs> when <laughs> when you walk through the shop and she's just staring at you. It's, yeah, this is quite scary. Um, but no, inside here... Oh, guess what, by the way, whilst that's playing, guess what's back? Yeah, You're So Zany is back. The, if Again, if you are new to the channel, that's the official TV theme. Uh, it's actually a, a, a tune called You're So Zany. You can find it on YouTube. It's available for free and stuff to use in, in channels and in parks and whatever, or on, on YouTube videos and stuff. Um, and it's just the perfect fit. So if you want to know the history of it, go back and watch the, the Cadnam Castle episode, because we, we talk about it in there. But it's, it's going to annoy you for the next minute and a half, and I'm not even sorry. <laughs> so anyway, this is the... Um, uh, this is the inside of the gift shop. I've cluttered this out. This is actually the same design of furniture as the Cadnam Castle one, but I've actually kitted this out differently. Um, I kind of learnt my lessons of the other of the other gift shop. So, uh, yeah, I've now got a slightly darker floor. We do still have the sky ceiling because that would be part of the IP, but the floor I used in Cadnam Castle probably wasn't the best floor, so uh, I've just corrected that and made that uh, and made that a thing. <laughs> Guys, honestly, it's so much fun building the area when the when the music is playing because you're just like, yeah, okay, that actually finishes it off. I love it. Um, and then on the outside, these are just the bits that we've uh, that we've cluttered it around here. And then of course you've got the plumple pop sign with the uh, the scribble out and the shop, so it becomes the Professor Plumple Shop. Clever, smart. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course the rest of the area is just cluttered out with uh, cluttered out with the usual uh, with the usual gobbins and stuff and that is the plumple pop area and guys 2023 so that means raw miles done that's it of course there is going to be a 2024 episode but it's not going to be until later in 2024 i'm ready to put this park down i'm ready to do something else and based on the fact that 800 of you have unsubscribed I think you're ready for me to put the park down too. So we've got one more episode. That'll be next week. We'll do a tour of the entire finished park. I'm going to do some touching up. I'm going to do some like final things I've to spot as I spotted and whatever. But guys, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This, I have loved doing this series. Absolutely loved it. It's just been amazing to build a park around all sorts of different areas and all sorts of things from the past and fitting things into areas where they were where there was stuff before i've loved it it's been so 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 good and i hope you have as well so thank you thank you thank you uh so yeah next tour next week and then we'll start the theme maker free park i think it's only fair thank you guys have a good one see you soon bye <laughs> <laughs>